is finally here. This is the season of swimming, sun, ice cream and sweating. While getting all hot and sweaty isn't particularly a nice thing, it's also a really great way of keeping cool. Like most mammals, humans are endothermic. This means we like to keep our bodies in a cozy temperature range, somewhere around the 37 degree mark. Not too hot, not too cold. When our core body temperature slips below the 36.5 degrees Celsius mark, our internal processes start to slow down. You see this in things like your heart rate and neurosignaling. As you can imagine, this isn't a good thing and has consequences such as confusion and loss of consciousness. On the other side, if your body temperature rises above the 37.5 degrees Celsius mark, things in your metabolic processes speed up. This can lead to seizures, again loss of consciousness, and even death. Luckily, the human body is very efficient at thermoregulation. It uses conduction, convection, evaporation, and radiation to regulate body temperature. In cold weather, when your body is warmer than the surrounding air, it loses heat through conduction and radiation. But actually, when you think about it, the reverse is also true. So in hot weather, when your body is cooler than the surrounding air, it gets warmer through radiation and conduction. So in fact, evaporation through perspiration, or sweat, becomes your body's only viable way of cooling down. When it gets too hot, the thermosensitive neurons in our brain get agitated and activate the sweat glands. These glands secrete a mixture of water and salts which travel through specialised ducts to the surface of the skin. From here the evaporation of sweat causes blood vessels near the skin's surface to cool down. This cooled venous blood then travels back into the core of the body and this causes the body's overall temperature to drop. But sweating intensively is not a particularly attractive way of staying cool. So the question then becomes, can we reduce it but still be cool? Well, you can make sure your internal systems don't get too toasty by using any of the other thermoregulatory mechanisms of your body. You could try placing your wrists under a cold tap and letting the cold water flow over them or placing a cold towel on the back of your neck. This will help your body's blood cool down more quickly. If you're indoors, you could place a tray of ice in front of a fan and then let that cool air flow over you. Or you could do it like the ancient Egyptians and use a cold damp towel as a blanket if sleeping in hot weather gets you a little hot under the collar.